What's up guys, welcome to the GC journey. I'm excited to be here because I haven't filmed anything for my channel in quite a while. And it is time now to take this old Subaru and add some new and modern features. We will be doing that using this PMU 16 by ECU Master and using this canvas keypad. Two parts I'm extremely excited about. I've been waiting a long time to use, the, use these and now we finally are. Um, if you don't know what they are and what they do, not to worry, we have an expert who will be explaining everything later on. Just to get you up to speed, we've spent the last four episodes constructing a brand new engine bay and cabin side harness. And so now in order to move forward, we need to complete the cabin side harness and then we can move on to installing the PMU 16. We'll be starting starting with the PMU 16. So I'm extremely excited. We have lots of work to do, a lot of things to cover. I hope you are excited as I am. So without further ado, let's get into it. In order to complete the cabin side harness, there are a couple of things that need to be done. The first is terminating the ECU side connectors. So your time mounted the connectors in a vise, prepared all the wires by stripping them and crimping pins, and then it was the documentation's time to shine. Using all the documentation we prepared at the beginning of this project gave your time the ability to know exactly where to terminate each pin in the connectors. This just goes to show how important it is preparing good documentation before starting a wiring project. The second job your time did was terminating a few Deutsch connectors to serve a number of purposes. One connector was used for the high current power supply and ground wires. An 8-pin DTM connector was used for the AC and other good things. Another DTM 8-pin connector was used for the gauge cluster. And another 6-pin connector was used for the drive-by-wire pedal. So with all that done, the cabin side harness is complete. And now we can move on to the even more exciting stuff, the PMU. Cabin side harness is now complete. And before we move on to installing the PMU, I had a few questions that I wanted to ask Yotam. I'm just using uh, the audience as an excuse, you know, to ask questions on their behalf. But uh, really, these, these are questions for me. And so, uh, first of all, what is a PMU? So PMU, the initials are power management unit. It's a product by ECU Master that replaces the fuses and relays in the car. Mostly they are meant to be used on race cars because they simplify the wiring and they simplify all the configuration that you, you have to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, another question is why would one want to install a PMU in the first place? Like uh, I'm, I'm installing this, this is not a race car, I'm installing yep. it on a daily driver. What are the benefits compared to a standard like the OEM fuse relay box? The, the lithium of fuses and relays in a, in a normal day, everyday car uh, has the benefits of added reliability and the simplicity of wiring because you have to use less wires to, to achieve the same goals. Mm -hmm. Let's say you can count on the PMU to have a circuit that is overheating. It's not necessarily shorting out, it's just overheating. The, let's say the engine fans, one of the engine fans is working too hard. Mm -hmm. You can have a button that you can reset the, uh, the system to go back online. I'll tell you two things that, that you said that, that caught my ear and, and those uh, I'm happy that you said them. Uh, adding reliability and uh, simplifying the wiring, that means getting rid of a lot of wires that we don't need. I want to delete the fuse box in the engine bay. Yeah. Uh, so can the PMU alone delete the, fuse, the engine bay fuse box or do we need to do something else in order to get rid of this thing? Because I want to get rid of it. I want to, I want to clear the engine bay of this ugly, <laughs> uh, fuse box and wires and old wires, uh, how, how can we do it? Can the PMU... Uh... PMU alone cannot delete the, that fuse box because that fuse box contains uh, heavy duty uh, fuses that serve uh, the cabin side harness. Mm -hmm. But we will move the, those fuses elsewhere and we move, let's say, all of the relays that are in that fuse box will be replaced by the PMU okay. and all of the small fuses will be re replaced by the PMU. Okay. Yeah. So all, all the relays and the small fuses from the fuse box will be uh, moved eliminated, to, yeah. eliminated to the PMU. And there are just a few uh, heavy duty fuses that will be relocated and then we can delete the, the fuse yeah, box. Yeah, we're so, going to delete so, it eventually. So, so it will be achieved eventually. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Eventually it's going to be achieved. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm relieved. So uh, less wires, weight reduction, less fuse boxes, less things that can go wrong, more reliability. Um, all these good things and more can be achieved with a PMU. Lots of good news, 
uh, for me, I'm happy, I'm happy to hear. Uh, those are the questions that I wanted to ask uh, Yotam. If there are any questions that you would like to ask regarding the PMU or to do with its uh, functionality, wiring, everything, um, you can ask the questions in the comments and I will ask Yotam and reply to you. So, um, Yotam, in order to make the PMU work with our current setup, uh, what is the next step? What do we need to do? We have built uh, the engine bay harness that suits the cabin side harness. And right. now we are going to uh, build the next section of harness that going to use from the cabin side of the harness to feed the PMU, to feed the, the power and canvas and everything from the ECU to mm -hmm. the PMU. Next step from that, going to be building another sub harness that will go from the PMU to the engine bay to feed the radiator fans and all of the headlights. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, still a lot of work to do. Yeah. Okay, all right. So um, we will now move on to um, making the sub harness for the PMU and we will move on from there. So the cabin side harness is complete, the PMU adapter harness is also complete. Now the next stage is to start installing everything. So we will remove the old engine bay harness, install the new one, cabin side harness, same thing. We'll mount the PMU, install the adapter harness and um, start connecting things together. Now, as your time said before, we won't be able to remove the engine bay fuse box in one go. We'll start with replacing all the small relays and fuses and uh, you know work our way forwards so eventually we will be able to get rid of the engine bay fuse box I'm really excited for that by the way like my, my main one, one of my main focuses is getting the engine bay nice and clean and getting rid of as many things as possible so so that afterwards after we do all the shaving and uh, blocking off all the unused holes and everything we'll have a we'll have a really good looking engine bay so i would like to hear your opinion if you think these episodes are too long or, or too short or if they're very informative or too, too much information or not enough information, please let me know in the comments and um, I'll try and adjust my uh, videos to suit as much as I can. So that's all for this video and still lots more to come in the coming videos. Um, if you'd like to see how we constructed the engine bay harness for this car, then I'll leave a link for, that, uh, for the video series on the right side of the screen. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see you in the next one.